This is a Rogue Media Network podcast. live twice hey, and actually live. i'm gonna go live when i go home too and play video games with my brother you're gonna be live when uh, you go home? yeah well uh we're playing uh it's what they call a pokemon randomizer nuzlocke soul link yeah dude i don't know what the fuck so, you're talking about that so is we're weird that. well what it is is you take the pokemon rom file you put it into this program that randomizes because the poke the game is set to where certain Pokemon are in certain places. The randomizer randomizes all of that, and then a Nuzlocke is is there's routes. Each route you can only catch one Pokemon per catchable area, and if that Pokemon dies, then me and my me and my brother he has the game going at the same time. And if my Pokemon dies, that's so linked to one of his. He has to throw away that Pokemon. It sounds like a cult. So it's kind of fun. No, it's, it's, it's pretty fun. It's a huh. uh, it's a common like gamer uh, challenge oh, cool. kind of thing we're gonna cool. do. Hey, 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 everybody! Welcome to Boah. Boah. King of the Hill podcast. I'm Mike and I'm Rusty. All that uh, all that uh, banter about Pokemon up front. Hope you enjoyed that. That's yeah. a little special uh, special Doo-doo. include for you there. Pokemon uh, I've got uh, the little iPad brought up here, and it's got, if you can see us on video, it, it's showing the Hill Kings podcast. Yeah, I want to personally Kings apologize podcast. to both of those guys for our iPad dying, but if you if you take a look at the iPad we use for our Zooms, um, one, there's gaff tape holding the uh, charger together. Many, many cracks in the screen, and uh, it's been through it. It's seen some stuff. So uh, it died at 1% at the end of that show, but I thought we did a good job. So we had a ton of fun, and uh, thank you again to the Hill Kings, guys. If you hadn't heard that, go back to Monday and listen to that real quick. Yeah, we you got to check them it out. Good. It was good stuff. Yeah. What's uh, What do we got going today, Rusty? Uh, well, right now I'm just in the process of pulling up some uh, comments here. We've got a lot of YouTube uh, action. We have started getting week. a lot of YouTube content, uh, or uh, comments, and it's because we've started uh, putting a lot more stuff on there. A lot there. more stuff. Uh, the short-form stuff that I've put together and put on there has, uh, has really, really went crazy. Uh, so... In the last 28 days, I want to thank everybody that's on YouTube checking us out because uh, yeah, no we've got 188 subscribers. To put that into perspective, <laughs> to put that into perspective for everybody, we had 150 at the beginning of April, and now we have 330. That's great. And before April, we had been active on YouTube for two years. So for two years we were we had around twelve thousand views total with three hundred or with the uh, one hundred and fifty subscribers ish one hundred and thirty, and we're now at three thirty with over like thirty uh, k views. So yeah, it kind of it kind of doubled and tripled in a short amount of time, which is awesome, and we appreciate anybody who's listening and uh, driving that. Yeah, but I also real. noticed that the increase in YouTube has also caused a slight increase and all of the other traditional streaming platforms. I don't know if that's correlated or not, but that's cool. Well, I think it's It's just the fact that we do a damn fine show. I think that's what it is. I think it is. I think it's a quality show. Uh, As as reflected in the comments, you're going to read. As reflected in the comments, (laughs) I'm about to read. So I'll go ahead and start with the most recent ones to kind of work my way. I won't read a whole, whole ton of them, but we'll read a few here. 
Uh, BA God Mode said eight minutes ago, actually. Uh, eight minutes ago. Yeah, and uh, he commented on the just wearing the dang old dang old is Arlen, Texas. Uh, uh, and he's in. Uh, by the way, they they, say, by the way, can I say are. something real quick? Yeah. Uh, thank you to Mason. He comes up with a lot of those headlines. Or yeah, those, yeah, or yeah. Those episode yeah, titles. We appreciate yeah. Mason for sure for for everything that he does to contribute to the show. Yep. Uh, he doesn't talk as much anymore, but, no, uh, but he's busy. But he's busy. Uh, I think he did three recordings while we were doing one show. Yeah, he did. Ago. He did multiple multiple yeah. things. He's he's wearing eight hats right now. Literally has eight hats on. I'm not sure why. That uh, has nothing to do with him working here. He just wears eight hats at some time. Yeah, yeah. He likes hats, uh, fedoras, uh, <laughs> bowlers. So uh, <laughs> he looks one, like Marge that, Simpson right now. He's got like eight bowler hats on. That one, it just goes straight up. Well, he's got that Burger blue. King crown hat on around them all to yeah. kind of hold them together. It's great. So BA God Mode here says, uh, I guess this is in response to where Arlen is. Yeah. Uh, they say Temple, Texas. Shots of the show line up exactly with shots of Temple, Texas. I can promise you this: Temple and Arlen are twins. And yes, Belton is a rivalry town in the show, and Belton is Temple's rival because they are sister cities. They actually uh, are butted up right against each other. Yeah, I you know what? That's, that that makes other. a lot of sense. Honestly. It does. Thank you, BA God Mode. <laughs> it, it, it does make sense. Never thought I'd say that. It does make sense. So uh, we have another one here from two hours ago. No. CRS204. Okay. I have never stepped foot in Texas, uh -huh. but I found, and this is again on the same, yeah. where is yeah. Arlen, dangle, yeah. dangle. Yeah, sure. Uh, I have never stepped foot in Texas, but I found every minute of your personal rambling about drive times and whatnot personal very rambling. helpful in picturing where any of this could be at inside of Texas. So in our ramble, uh, uh, CRS 204 here was able to draw uh, inside of their head what Texas might look like. That's cool. I'm glad we were able to help. And, yeah. and you know what? If anybody ever wants to come on here and talk about... Um, just email me, yeah. Just yeah. where Arlen is and how you've never been to Texas, so that would make a great episode, and we'd love to talk about it. Yeah, so if any any uh, viewers want to be a part of the show, please email us at bwaaakoth.com, and be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell on Facebook or we, YouTube for us. We as are well. not inaccessible. We are not at all. I, uh, I answer comments pretty quickly because everything's attached to my phone. I answer emails pretty qu quickly. Uh, Instagram, uh, Instagram, I'm pretty quick on. Twitter, uh, I don't really get anybody messaging me from Twitter, but people from Instagram do. And uh, CRS. Those people on Twitter don't exist. Nah, well, there is people, but it's. Uh, I feel like it's more echo chambery than everything yeah, else. It's right. less interactive. Yeah, so uh, I know at one point one of you said something along the lines, none of us would find it interesting, but I really did the whole way through. Thank you. Uh, That's really cool. Excited to have found this podcast. Well, we're excited that you found us. No and CRS kidding, 204, right? we're excited that you're listening. Uh, the next two comments are quite negative, uh, and I, I want to read the negative <laughs> the comments too because these are the ones I truly love as somebody who uh, – you know, back in the early days of the internet, I was an internet troll, if you will. I'd like to, I'd like to talk shit and rabble rouse online. But uh, user RL1DP1HZ8Z says unlistenable. Oh. Uh, and also another comment from same, same uh, uh, user here. I don't think you understand what a trailer is. Also, based on the few minutes I listen to this, it's dog shit. You guys are terrible, and you sound like <laughs> annoying dorks. Not the first time I've been called a right. dork. Not the last time I've been called right a dork. Right on target. Never right on the me. nose. Thank yeah, you. never bothered me, so we'll skip him. Uh, thanks, though. I appreciate it. Uh, thanks for the feedback. Uh, suck these nuts. All right, so hey. Arthur Madison, 3396. It's our boy, Artie. Uh, this is the Dangled Dangled Free For All Friday. He calls it. And he says he really dug that episode. So thanks, Artie. Thank you. Uh, this guy has commented a couple times, too. Outlaw in Texas. All right. So Outlaw in Texas commented on Season 5, Episode 6, When Cotton Comes Marching Home. He goes, I thought Cotton met Dee Dee at the VA hospital. He was in bed, and she walks by with a cart mm -hmm. asking if they wanted magazines or something. She started treating him like a cute little baby. Well, she bends so over, and he gets he that calls, magnification of her butt. Too. Yeah, he called out a continuity issue because okay. in Season 5, Episode 6, uh, I'm not sure. I can't really remember how uh -huh. he meets Dee Dee, but they have a different origin story than the Candy Striper story that we get. Uh, in that episode. Well, here's my deal with the recollection of how they met. Uh, you got to remember that Cotton is an old coot, 
and uh, his memory may not be the best. Yeah, I that, don't know that true. he necessarily did kill fifty men. I think it's just what he he kill remembers. You well, know yeah, because I, mean? uh, I you know I was alive to talk to World War II veterans that were yeah. in my family, sure. and uh, the one family member that I was able to talk to about it, you know, you asked that question. Well, h- well, how many men did you kill? You know, yeah. like you're twelve years old, you're pumped yeah. up about yeah. war, and you're just curious. Pumped up about and, war. And uh, mm-hmm. he uh, he told me straight up. Well, yeah, I don't know. I guess all 10, 11, 12 year old boys go through a World War II. Oh yeah, thing. sure, sure, sure. Uh, well, it's like the every no. man thinks about the Roman Empire. Well, I'd asked my uh, grandmother for. Uh, uh, there's a book by a guy named Alan Bullock that did the entire Adolf Hitler's entire story yeah. from start to finish. And I'd asked my grandma for that book and uh, she had a conversation with my mom, a private conversation asking if I'm okay. <laughs> and oh, my mom wow. was just like, really? my mom was like, yeah, he's, he's not fascist. He's not, you know, <laughs> strapping up and wearing Doc Martens and shaving his head or nothing. He just, uh, he's just interested in war too. So yeah. Yeah. Oh, I get that. I get that. Um, you know, kids kids go through those phases, and you don't learn unless you unless you ask. You know. Yeah, uh, same guy. He had another comment. He commented on the Ten King of the Hill plot holes. Uh, Ooh, he says like the that. only issue, and I, he's talking about Boomhauer and his Texas Ranger stuff here, yeah. is the actual Texas Rangers are an elite of the elite detectives. You don't just become a Texas it's Ranger. True. Uh, he said he was pretty sure that there are only twenty total Texas Rangers, but I, I want to looked it up. Wait, for what? You. Yeah, well. It was just a you know just a, a quick assumption. Yeah, sure. But uh, he said they're like super detectives. They solve specific cases only. Problem cases, not a very normal job. Uh, there are 166 Texas Rangers over 250 counties, and they're sanctioned by the state underneath the Texas Department of Public Safety. So, sure. Uh, another comment. So we have J. D. M. A. I uh, can't even pronounce it. J. Oh, oh J. D. Maddox. Corita. Okay. I tried listening, but I couldn't get past the advertising you. for the first six minutes, so I gave up. First six minutes? That's so full of shit. Yeah. There's not six minutes there's worth of ads in front of this thing. At the most, there's two. The episode that he commented on was me and you talking about Bois and where to find Bois. It was when I was doing the tags at the beginning yeah. where I was saying, hey, check us yeah, out yeah, here, sure, here, here. Sure. So I don't really see that as advertising. That's us just I don't either. promoting whatever. our own show. Whatever, but, man. Uh, that's There's cool. A, hey, uh, hey, by the way, everybody, it. everybody, look at your podcast player. Oh, look at there. There's a fast forward button. Yeah, appreciate it. Uh, so uh, there's another guy, uh, outlawed Texas again. He was com- he been commenting a lot the last few days. Uh, they were in the dumpster and found a pack of cigs. So that was the that was the comment. C- that was it. Yeah, that was huh. a cigarette episode. Maybe that's where he was. Yeah, and uh, he was talking about the guy who uh, <clears throat> voiced Dale passing. Oh yeah. Uh, let's see. I was trying to get it to somebody that's not from him. Okay, here we go. Uh, four days ago, Christian B4, uh, we were talking about ozone. Christian B4? Uh, yeah, Christian B4. <laughs> Before what? I don't know. <laughs> but it was funny because we were talking about ozone Yeah. that one day, and I told you how I, about an ozone generator and yeah, all that. Yeah, sure. And he said, ozone is awesome. It destroys odors. So uh, very astute observation. Well, that's there. true. That's what's in uh, uh, Febreze or whatever, I think. Yeah. Doesn't it have ozone in it? So it gets rid of stinks? Uh, b- uh, maybe. I'm not sure. Uh, I sprayed that at my dog one time. He disappeared. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, Stinky dog. we've got a few really positive comments that I like here. So we've got uh, Chin Tupples says, you guys are going viral soon. Y'all give me so much inspiration to do whatever it is you want on YouTube. I love this podcast. Thank you for the support. We appreciate oh, the sentiment. That's yeah, sweet. We Thank appreciate you. that. Yeah. Uh, Silent J0420 also says something similar. Here before the blow up, kind of interested in how this turns out. Maybe you guys could do other Mike Judge cartoons, oh, history, origin to. of the characters. This has potential. Uh, well, we appreciate that. Uh, we're we're uh, very well aware I don't want to sound of conceitious or nothing, but we're very well aware of the uh, uh, <laughs> the not, potential. Sorry, I'm not going to say that about yeah. anything for me. I'm we're, not well aware of uh, hardly anything. I, I feel like we're well aware of the poten- potential. Yes, it could be. Yeah, doing. it could yeah. have good potential. More aware now than we were when we first started. But after doing this show for three sure. years now, yeah, uh, yeah, we're definitely uh, we definitely aware of the potential. We've been approached. Sure. Uh, hey, did you know that Heck Dorland is only a character in two episodes? You yeah. remember the old guy yeah. in firefighting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Heck Dorland, yeah. It says that um, uh, he was in firefighting and then born again on the 4th of July. Between these two episodes, besides being white and a firefighter, he is drawn completely different, has two clearly different voices. 
I didn't realize that. I didn't even. I, I don't put those two together. Um, these two things were ten uh, ten years apart, so I guess you could say that they're very. You know, maybe the guy's changed or whatever. Yeah, yeah. But that's a plot hole. There you go. Un unasked for plot hole. Dale suspects John Redcorn is gay throughout most of the series. Then in another late episode in the series, it's Dale who is keen to John Redcorn being a ladies' man. A ladies I don't man. really see that as a plot hole, though. I think that's just Dale being Dale. Just Dale being Dale. Bill Dotry has a septic tank in one episode. Hank's new friend and almost doppelganger personally uses it. Uh, person, uh, doppelganger personality-wise uses a backhoe to dig up Bill, Bill's septic tank and have it replaced in the episode, Not My Backhoe. The problem with this episode is in another episode, Hank, who lives next door to Bill, uses plumbing connected to a sewer system. This is pointed out in an episode where Bobby's pet snake climbs down the drain of the toilet into the Arlen sewer system. Um, that, it, the guy says it's small, but it's still a thing. Yeah. I see that. Um, and then, let's see. There was one last one. Uh, another example where the later in the series creates inconsistencies. Hank buys a brand new truck. Uh, in the episode Chasing Bobby, in the last scene, Bobby says, I love this truck. Hank says, I do too. But when we get back to the dealership, act like we hate it. This establishes that Hank is cunning at negotiating the prices of new cars. Since he acts like he loves a new truck, he will pay much higher price for it from the car salesman. That is, uh, that, that I think that's something we pointed out whenever we did that episode. Yeah. <laughs> that yeah. Hank, is, Hank goes both ways on those on the prices of these things. Like he wants to play the idiot so that he can get this and then... He wants to uh, outsmart them and be there. I, kinda, I think I talked about how I do that with cars. Yeah, yeah. But it is very different all the way through. Um, so there are some plot holes, but you know what? Hey, I'll tell you guys a secret. It's a cartoon. It is a cartoon. It's a cartoon. And there are it's plot okay. holes, but uh, plot holes You're are okay. Live. There, there's not going to be continuity everywhere you want continuity to be at. No, and part of that is the and studio system, too. In anything. You know, in it's life. a television recording in the studio system. I mean, it gets gets out of whack sometimes. We've been pointing that out for a while. Oh, wow. So we've already got a response back from, from? BA God Mode. Oh! Like I said, guys, if you if, if you post something, I'm pretty quick to respond. Oh, yeah, it'll be on. quick. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm, I don't have much of a life, and, I'm, and what my did, phone is constantly in my hand. What did BA God Mode respond with? So... I had replied to BA God Mode and said, I can agree with this. We have put it somewhere in between Dallas and Austin. Yeah. And for him, uh, or uh, they, they. A, it, it says, me, it's the rocket ship parks uh -huh. and the garage access and back access by paved alleys. Paved mm -hmm. alleys are Canyon Creek and New Tech and Temple. Before the revitalization, there were tons of rocket ship parks. Huh. There's only three left, but one in a neighborhood that resembles Arlen overlooks a water tower. Oh wow! Okay, so yeah, cool. Hey, BA God Mode, if you if you uh, if you want to respond to him, tell him to send us some pics. I would love to see a picture of the Arlen skyline, but it's actually Temple. That'd be kind of cool. Temple's about 20 minutes from us. So uh, that would be a real revelation if we kind of pin it down That'd and be cool. say that's Temple. Maybe we could record live from Rocket Park. Let's go to Rocket Park and Temple. Just not Rocket Park and McGregor because you wouldn't be able to hear the podcast. Oh, because it's an actual Rocket Park. It's an actual Rocket. SpaceX. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's a, uh, there's a live YouTube uh, stream where they just stream... Uh, them taking off or it's just literally just a camera that sits on the landing pad oh, the or not on pad? it but yeah. it sits off you know looking at the launch pad and uh that's cool every time i hear a, a low rumble i was like eh, let's go ahead and hurry and pull you that know, up real fast and check this out that kind of stuff we uh you know here at rogue media network we run a live feed of just our studio in there yeah yeah yeah. and it, half the time there's nothing happening in that studio but when there is you get to see it you don't get to hear it because that would be unfair because people might say things that they want cut out or whatever. But I yeah. uh, had a guy text me the other day, and he goes, what the hell is this? He texted me about the live feed, and I was like, well, we just leave the cameras on, you know, let people watch. He goes, but to what end? And I'm thinking, what? who gives a shit? I mean, to what end? To point, no end. At this point, who cares? I mean, every, no everything's freaking content, so who cares? Yep. But, uh, yeah, if you ever get bored, go check out our studio. Uh, all right. Well, I think that wraps us up for a Friday. Uh, yeah, that does it. That's, we, that's a Friday episode. So now that we're getting uh, more things to reply to and more things to do, oh, uh, yeah. Friday's more about you. So yeah. the more comments and the more emails and the more engagement that uh, the fan base engages with, uh, we're, uh, we're, we're willing and ready to talk. I um I uh BuzzFeed e email me and uh, let's do an interview. <laughs> Come on BuzzFeed. Tonight I'm going to see a band. Okay, uh, what band in are we Austin? Seeing? I'm going to go see Knower, K N O W E R. 
K-N-O-W-R. Weird little band. Um, but good stuff Barely though. Nowhere. Yeah, exactly. You should look it up. It's 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 uh, it's, it's a decent band. We'll what see kind of what happens. They play like punk. Uh, no, Rockabilly. it's it's kind of um, it's got a horn section. Oh stuff wow! Like so that. they got brass. Yeah, it's really like weird. That. So like a ska. No, no, not really ska. They play. Um, I I would put it more in that punk weird kind of. It seems you. like 180 minutes. You know that old thing that you see. Yeah, alternative yeah. kind of stuff. But uh, they have this great video where they shot an entire concert in some guy's house. Oh, just, that's cool. But they're playing in like the hall and things, yeah. you know. And then and on the first level of this house, they have an entire brass section sitting like in the garage. Oh, that's crazy. And then the guy uh, at one point has to go, has to run down three flights of stairs to play the piano during the song. I mean, it's just, it's, it's very wacky. well done. Yeah, yeah it's that's cool. wacky. It's cool. I like that. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Well, I hope yeah, you have a good so time. So we'll see. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, thanks again for joining us. Uh, remember, you can check us out on Patreon. Uh, $3 a month helps us out quite a bit. If any of you can get on that train, we would really, really appreciate it. We love each and every one of you for listening. Even you haters, we, we like it. I love uh, it. Keep coming at us. That's great. We will try I'll to just answer like it. it. I love it. Well, I'm saying we'll try to I, answer I, it. I love it when people tell me yeah. I'm unlistenable. That's yeah. awesome. Also, just remember, uh, every Monday we uh, have our video on YouTube as well as Spotify. Friday yep. we do the uh, That Ain't Right episodes. Yep. And then every once in a while you'll get a special episode like you did last Monday with us being on the Hill Kings show. And you can also find us live on YouTube for our Friday episodes. Yep. Uh, usually Sundays or Saturdays. Just keep. keep <laughs> we your, never know when. We're well, that's record, the reason yeah. why I say keep your notifications on on Instagram and I can keep tell your you notifications next week it's be on Sunday on also. YouTube. Yeah, it'll be Sunday next week for sure. Uh, but but yeah, so so make sure you've got notifications for Instagram yeah. and notifications for YouTube, yeah. and it'll tell you yeah. when we go live. Also, if so, you're on an Apple, uh, go ahead and turn on those automatic downloads because Apple turned them off. Yeah, turn on all the automatic downloads for everyone. Turn on the automatic everything. Automatic That'd be great. Go, yeah. Automize it, it all. Autom- like, subscribe, follow, and hit that <laughs> notification bell. That's right. All right, guys. Well, thanks for joining us once again, and we'll see you again on Monday. We matanye. We matanye indeed. <laughs>